the past number of weeks, Canadian security agencies have been actively pursuing credible allegations of a potential link between agents of the government of India and the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar. Few days back, Khalistan Movement Leader in Canada and President of Sikhs for Justice, which organizes the so-called referendum, Gurpatwant Singh Pannon, attacked Hindu Canadians, asking us to leave Canada and go back to India. I have heard from many Hindu Canadians who are fearful after this targeted attack. I urge Hindu Canadians to stay calm but vigilant. Please report any incident of Hindu phobia to your local law enforcement agencies. The Khalistan movement leader is trying to provoke Hindu Canadians to react and divide the Hindu and Sikh communities in Canada. Let me be clear, vast majority of our Canadian Sikh brothers and sisters do not support Khalistan movement. Most Sikh Canadians may not publicly condemn the Khalistan movement for several reasons but they are deeply connected to the Hindu Canadian community. Canadian Hindus and Sikhs are connected through family relationships and shared social and cultural ties. This direct attack on Hindu Canadians by the leader of Canadian Khalistan movement is further escalation of the recent attacks on Hindu temples and public celebration of the assassination of Hindu Prime Minister Indira Gandhi by terrorists. Canada has high moral values and we fully uphold the rule of law. I can't understand how glorification of terrorism or a hate crime targeting a religious group is allowed in the name of freedom of speech and expression. There would be an outrage in Canada if a white supremacist attacked any group of racialized Canadians asking them to get out of our country. But apparently, this Khalistani leader can get away with this hate crime. Hindu Canadians keep a low profile and are considered soft targets. The anti-Hindu elements cannot digest the success of Hindu Canadians. Two well-organized groups claiming to represent their faiths have been attacking Hindu Canadian community leaders, Hindu organizations and even me. For over 10 months, have been attacked for raising a flag with our Hindu religious sacred symbol Om on our Parliament Hill. I again call upon Hindu Canadians to stay calm but vigilant. As Canadians, we can be proud of our Hindu faith and our heritage and our impressive contribution to the socio-economic success of our country, Canada. Canadians deserve to be protected on Canadian soil. We call on the Indian government to act with utmost transparency as authorities investigate this murder because the truth must come out. We must know who performed the assassination and who was behind the assassination. Over the past number of weeks, Canadian security agencies have been actively pursuing credible allegations of a potential link between agents of the government of India and the killing of a Canadian citizen, Hardeep Singh Nijar. 